So this is my final video on um, Dillian White versus Robert Hellenius, which for my money was actually the standout fight of the card tomorrow night. Uh, I actually did an initial thoughts video where I said, clearly the fight's regrettable that it's been made at such late notice, but actually it's a very, very good fight and a fight that I could legitimately see going either way. I did see it as a 50-50 matchup. Uh, as we got closer, I said I wasn't going to do a final thoughts video until after the weigh-in because I believe the conditioning of both of these fighters uh, is absolutely key in making the determination of who's going to win and predicting you know, how that outcome is going to happen. Um, so I wanted to sit and wait on what's today's weigh-in. And I actually found a weigh-in for Robert Hellenius versus Dillian White very revealing. Uh, I've also found a way in for Carlos Takam versus Anthony Joshua very revealing. So there'll be a, a separate video to follow uh, later on Friday evening. But in this one, we're just going to concentrate on Robert Hellenius versus Dillian White. Um, let's start with Robert Hellenius. Hellenius, very big guy. He's six foot seven, six foot eight, something like that. Hellenius has weighed in at about 250 pounds. I think to be exact, it was 249. Um, I've had a look at some of his uh, previous weigh-in stats for you. He actually weighed in today 10 pounds higher than he did for his last fight. Um, previously, Hellenius has fought a lot higher. He's been up in the 260s, um, but I think Hellenius needs to be coming in light. You know, when we've seen Hellenius fight around the 250 mark before, uh, for me, his stamina has been somewhat lacking in fights. And whilst Robert Hellenius is always going to be a dangerous fighter for the last two or three rounds, sorry, for the first two or three rounds, um, you know, I think a Robert Hellenius at 250 is not a fighter who can fight at a fast pace for a whole 12-round fight. Um, disappointing that he's come in 10 pounds higher than his last fight. If I recall correctly, his last fight was against Evgeny Orlov, who's a decent level journeyman gatekeeper type opponent. Uh, certainly nowhere near the level of test that Adillian White is. So I'd have liked to have seen him come in at that weight or potentially under that weight. But of course, the fact he's come in 10 pounds higher probably reflective of the fact that he's taken this fight on two weeks notice. And let's be honest, two weeks notice for a fight isn't really two weeks of training. You don't want to be sparring in the last week leading up to a fight. Um, obviously, you've got flights to deal with, press conferences, public workouts, weigh-ins, etc. So if you're taking a fight on two weeks notice, realistically, you're talking about one week's training, absolute maximum in my opinion. So Robert Hellenius, 10 pounds higher. In terms of how he looked on the scales, he didn't look massively flabby. You know, he wasn't carrying a big gut on him or anything like that. Um, he's obviously a, a massive, massive guy and with such a big frame can you know, carry 250 pounds without being a beast. But at the same time, he wasn't looking athletic. And it kind of confirmed my fears that I saw from the public workout. You know, when I saw the public workout, um, it was actually, I was I was watching the public workout largely to see how Hellenius and Takam looked. I thought those two would be the most revealing given how late notice they'd come in. We'll talk about Takam in the second video that'll be up later this evening. But Hellenius, I thought, looked very, very plodding. Quite slow, quite unathletic. Uh, quite one paced in there, quite robotic in there, and you know, maybe that's reflective of his weight. I appreciate he has weighed in at this weight many times before, and maybe he could get away with it in his younger career. But for me, when I've seen more recent Hellenius fights, you know, he's dangerous for the first two or three rounds, but when he comes in this sort of heavy, it's more a case that he'll put two or three rounds of power punches together and then more just follow you round throwing a slightly lazy jab. So I think it's a big negative for those picking Robert Hellenius. As for Dillian White, he's coming at 248 pounds and not this similar weight, I think one or two pounds apart from uh, Chisora and David Allen. So he's coming one pound lighter than Robert Hellenius, about the same weight and a similar physical size and weight um, to what Dillian weighed in against. Uh, for Chisora and David Allen. He's 12 pounds lighter than his last fight, uh, which if I recall correctly was Malcolm Tan in the States. So obviously that's a fight he didn't take too seriously. That was always only going to be a little tick over fight. Dillian clearly uh, coming in at you know, high 240s, which seems to be his fighting weight for fights he takes very, very seriously. I have always thought Dillian would be better coming in slightly less, maybe 235 to 240, that kind of range. Uh, for me, Dillian White is a fighter who 
does sometimes fade a little bit in the latter half of fights. Clearly, he's a heavyweight who throws a lot of big punches, so part of that's to be expected. But looking at Dillian White, I've always kind of felt that he could do a little bit more to improve in terms of stamina uh, and in terms of work rate in the latter parts of fights. Looking at that Chisora fight that went 12, I actually thought Chisora maybe was the stronger man slightly, uh, certainly in the, the back quarter of the fight, if you like. And, uh, you know, I think maybe, I'm not saying... Um, you need to have a, a great six-pack to be able to fight 12 rounds. But <clears throat> you look at Dillian White, you look at some of the fat that he still seems to be carrying, and you just wonder if it would be in his interest if he was maybe to get down to 240 and have a new look there. If you look at the Dillian White when he was doing MMA and towards the start of his career, he was coming in carrying a lot less visible body fat. And I appreciate that changes. Uh, you know, as you uh, get older and you become a bit more heavy set. But I'd like to see Dillian White um, try it out at 240, see if that improves his speed, his explosiveness, uh, his stamina, etc. You just wonder, you know, he's been with his current team for quite a while now and they seem to only be getting him to this kind of weight. And uh, you, you just wonder if maybe he could have another look at the team around him. I'm not saying he needs to change his trainer, but maybe change his nutritionist, change his dietitian, whatever he's doing. But... You know, for me, I'd like to see Dillian White coming in a little bit lighter. And I appreciate he hasn't had an opponent in this fight till late notice, but he's known he's been in the co-main event for some time. So I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed he didn't come in a bit lighter, as I am with Robert Hellenius. But I think with Hellenius, uh, it's more excusable, given that he's had so little notice for this fight. Uh, so anyway, long-winded way of saying, I thought this was a 50-50 fight. But I thought the conditioning of both men was absolutely key. Um, I thought Hellenius was uh, the older guy, the bigger guy, the guy who's got the propensity to a bit more, be a bit more plodding. And whilst I think Hellenius has a lot of technical advantages over Dillian White, I wanted to see how he looked, how his conditioning looked in fight week before making a prediction. I wasn't impressed by his public workout. I was disappointed at the way in Hellenius came in ten pounds higher than Dillian uh, than his last fight. As a result, by the narrowest of margins, and I could have gone either way on this fight, but I'm going to go with my head and I'm going to pick Dillian White to win. Dillian White is the younger fighter. He's the guy with more momentum. He's the guy who's had more notice that he would be fighting on this bill. I think those are all key facts. Um, Dillian White has weighed in at the same level. He weighed in when he fought Chisora, David Allen. Uh, you know, he's there or thereabouts, his fight weight. And for me, I think White can outwork and outgun a Robert Hellenius who I expect will fade and a Robert Hellenius who I expect will become quite a basic and potentially plodding fighter in the second half of this fight. Uh, I think Robert Hellenius is decent. I think Robert Hellenius can win the early rounds of this fight. Don't be surprised whatsoever if Hellenius is two or three rounds up after the first three or four. Uh, I could see that happening. Um, don't be surprised if Robert Hellenius wins the battles of the jab. Um, but also don't be surprised if the gas tank starts to empty worryingly quickly with Hellenius. And when Dillian White can walk Hellenius down, when Dillian White can get inside the jab, and when Dillian White can, you know, throw some body punches and justify his nickname of the body snatcher, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Robert Hellenius starts to fade, starts to become even slower, uh, and, you know, has little in the way of a plan B. Hellenius is a guy who's effective from distance when he's allowed to dominate a fight behind his jab and a long one too. He's not a guy who's going to bring a totally different look. He's not going to smash Dillian White up on the inside. It's just not his style. So I'm predicting Dillian White to win the fight. Uh, I actually think it will be a competitive fight. I think White will potentially look bad in spots because I do think White... And the construction of his punches still isn't quite there. Whereas I think Hellenius is slightly more refined technically in that perspective. Uh, so I do think Hellenius will give him trouble. And I don't think Hellenius will be blown out of there. I appreciate he got knocked out heavily by Johan de Par, But I think there were issues outside of the ring uh, with health for that fight. And I you know, think Hellenius on his day is a decent and potentially durable heavyweight. Um, don't be surprised if it goes the distance. Uh, I pick White to win. In a fight that, you know, is competitive, but I pick White to win a uh, clear but competitive unanimous decision. Um, the way scoring's been in the UK recently, who knows what the scorecards will say. Um, but, you know, if you're a Robert Hellenius fan, 
you're wanting your man to win by knockout here rather than to, to edge it on points. Let's put it that way. Hellenius is, of course, dangerous in the first two, three rounds. He is a guy with punching power. Um, he is a guy with range, height, reach, length, however you want to describe it. Hellenius is dangerous and shouldn't be overlooked. But I think Dillian White can give up the first two or three rounds in this fight uh, and then back his youth uh, and his uh, fitness in this fight and then come on very, very strong as the bigger man starts to fade. That's my thoughts on this fight. Uh, I'm picking Dillian White. Uh, if you're chasing me for a method of victory, I'll go points. But I acknowledge that Hellenius uh, has taken the fight on very late notice and could fade and get stopped in the second half. That, that's my take on it. Leave your comments. Uh, leave your predictions in the comment section below. Am I reading too much into the weigh-in? What's your take on Hellenius weighing £10 more than his last fight? Uh, what's your take on Dillian White's weight? Leave your comments in the section below. Um, if you haven't done so already, please press subscribe. I'm going to do a post-fight review of this fight, of course. Uh, and I'd love it if you guys came back to check it out. So please press subscribe. Um, if you're one of the regulars or you're new, uh, do hit thumbs up, which means this will get more visibility. As always, appreciate you taking the time to tune into my channel. Thanks, guys.